Hello, it's Bianca. I am a bomb engineer at a company and I am back to show you a new feature that is part of the S4 HANA Cloud release for Bill of Materials. This new feature is on preliminary items. Why is this useful in my daily work? Well, in the early engineering phase, I am more concerned about the structure of my bomb and not so much about the material definition itself. So being able to put a structure in place using preliminary items allows me to do my work most efficiently right from the beginning of the early engineering of a product. In this short demo, I will show you how to add a preliminary item to a bomb during the early engineering stage. Later in the design phase, I will show you how to convert the bomb item that was originally a preliminary item into a non-stock item. Only a fully converted bomb can be used for further downstream processes. Let's get into it. I open up my Fury Launchpad and go into the app called Maintain Bill of Material. In here, I pick a bomb that I will work with. I will use the example of the centrifugal pump, so I'll search for it and then select it. Here I see the bomb of the pump. First, I go into the edit mode so I can start editing. Next, I change how I view the structure. I have already saved a view called preliminary structure. And what this view allows me to see is an extra column called preliminary component. I click on the plus button to add a single row. In the item category, I am now able to pick the item called preliminary item. So I select this. Let's say that the impeller I want to add does not have a component material defined yet. So I fill in the preliminary component field and add some free text. In this case, I add impeller as this will be the item that is needed to complete the bomb of the pump. I also maintain the component quantity. This gives me great flexibility to structure my bomb right from the beginning so I won't forget any items. I save the bomb. I am back. Now I know that we have a component for the impeller. So I go back into the pump bomb, which I had maintained in an earlier design phase, and I will convert the preliminary item into a non-stock item in the item category. I go into edit mode and select the impeller. I select a component that is to be maintained, which is the impeller. Then I click on the action called convert item category. I pick the component material maintained in the system, then select non-stock item in the item category field. Non-stock items means that this item will need to be purchased. I go ahead and convert it. It is now converted and we can see on the list in the item category column that the impeller has been converted to a non-stock item and it also has a component maintained. I save the pump's bomb. I hope you learn how to use this new feature on using preliminary components and you find it useful to structure your bomb when your component materials are not yet defined. You were also able to see how easy it was to convert your preliminary component into an actual component, ready to use for further processes down the product's development lifecycle and beyond.